Good afternoon. My name is Anna Prince and I'm the principal at Louisa East Elementary. This is our third year being at ACT school and we're continuing on some of the practices we have followed in the past. Our first year, Louisa East Elementary focused on creating formative assessments for our teachers and refining that process. And then last year we worked on personalized learning. This year our focus is continuous classroom improvement and aligning all of our systems. Our school is rather large. We have about 590 students in only second through fifth grade. So we do have a big school for that small or that age group. Um, this year, our problem of practice is to develop a system to align our instructional practices and monitor student achievement. With the new academic standards being released and with turnover in teachers, we knew that we needed to do some work with um, deconstructing standards, aligning those formative assessments that we've already created, and making sure that teachers were teaching the content that would be assessed at the end of the year. Um, we are focusing and using the teacher clarity books. Um, grade level teams are meeting and working through PLCs and talking about their content knowledge and how that they can work to build systems um, that we can retain over the years and pass down. Um, some of our goals is that students will have a goal setting process and progress monitoring. Um, last year I spoke about our data notebooks, student collection, or student led data nights. We just hosted that on Tuesday night and um, it's becoming larger and larger as the years go on. Um, parents come in and our students meet with their parents and they are able to discuss their data rather than just the teachers talking to them. So it really gives them a sense of ownership. Um, some of our levers that we have are the formative assessments that we've created in the past and we house those on, we have some on Google Drive and um, just different notebooks and things that we've had. We can show new teachers um, the formative assessments. I have some videos that I have stored on Google Drive also and I can always share that with um, classroom teachers who are new or maybe struggling with a formative assessment that they want to um, utilize in their classroom. Um, we do implement the STAR assessment, so when we align all these systems and we see that we are teaching the correct content, we should see growth on our STAR assessments at the end of the year and that alignment with KPREP also. We are also, um, as a whole staff, completing a micro-credential this year in understanding poverty. And we submitted, or well, they submitted their first part to me um, last week, and that was talking about their classroom um, demographics. Um, how many students are free and reduced lunch, how many live with grandparents, those type of things. And it was an eye-opener for a lot of our teachers who thought they knew their students. Um, but just based on their reflections and their pieces that they submitted to me, I think it was a good activity for them to do. And by December, we'll have the complete micro-credential um, ready to submit, and hopefully I will have about 35 teachers pass that, and that would be school-wide for us. Um, and another goal for us, or lever, is our personalized learning. This year we did start guided reading at our second grade level with the Jane Richardson plan, and that is kind of trickling up through the, um, through the grade levels. We have RTI systems, and we really focus in on our center work um, in math and social studies across the content areas to make sure teachers are teaching students where they are, um, not just doing a one-size-fits-all. So with our continuous classroom improvement work this year, um, we are just making sure all of our systems align, that way we can be as successful as possible. We were three-tenths away from being the four-star school, so that really hurts, but we want to make sure that with all these things align and making sure that our um, teachers are getting what they need to be successful, that we can really help them. Um, we want to... Um, Make sure that we impact students in their learning across the board to make sure that they are uh, lifelong learners. I did give you our theory of action there for you too, and I covered most of these things. Um, our resource teachers always help us too in implementing these processes and help our teachers who are new um, or teachers who have been there for a while, maybe change content areas, and they always um, do support us also. The money this year will be spent on those teachers completing micro credentials. They will get a another stipend of sorts or an incentive to use in the classroom. So once they successfully complete that, they'll get a little bit um, extra money, I think about $100 each um, to spend in their classroom. We also are gonna spend some money in networking. I have some teachers going to Allen Central next week to visit them. So that is where our money's gonna be spent.